refrigeration in the tropics can be a real challenge. Welcome to the Cold Day Marine Refrigeration, a new solution to all those challenges that we all face when we want to keep our food fresh and enjoy some frozen treats while we're down south. The Cold Day Refrigeration System is efficient and it's stable and today we want to show you how it operates in ambient temperatures of about 120 degrees. To do this, we're standing here today by an automotive spray paint booth. This paint booth will bake our test model of the cold day system, raising the temperature to 120 degrees, and we're gonna watch how it operates using all of our thermostatic control dials. So, I wanna enjoy my ice cream a few hours from now after my system is baked in that warm temperature. As we begin our cold day test today, I want to show you what our gauges are telling us. Here we have our temperature. Right now, in our environment, as we begin the testing, it's 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Our condensing unit on the cold day refrigeration system is also operating at right about the same temperature as our room at 70 degrees right now. So we've got that hooked up so that we can see how it operates as the heat increases up to 120 degrees for our test. Here is the cold day control panel that you'll get with every cold day system. The cold day control panel tells you what temperature it is in your freezing compartment box or your fresh food compartment. Today we're testing at freezing level. It's at Celsius at minus, almost minus 17 degrees Celsius. Minus 18 degrees Celsius is a temperature that's equal to that cold freezer storage, your, your big freezer storage in your home environment. Your refrigerator freezer in your kitchen environment at home doesn't actually get as cold as minus 16 degrees. So this is a good test to show you that this is truly a deep freeze that cold day is going to show us today. On this control panel, there are three settings. We're operating at the lowest setting. So right now, our refrigerator isn't, or our freezer compartment isn't loaded up with a large amount of goods. In fact, it's just storing my two ice cream bars. So if you had more goods and you really wanted to adjust the temperature within your system, it's easy to switch to two higher levels, but our test is being performed at the lowest, most efficient level. When we think about efficiency, let's take a look at what amps are being drawn on our system. As you can see, at 69 degrees, at minus 17, we're drawing about 1.48 amps on our system. This is something that your solar panels could handle. It's a very energy assistant, uh, uh, efficient system. Okay. It's been a few hours now and we've just completed our baking of the cold day marine refrigeration system. Let's see how it operated. As you can see from our temperature gauge, it currently, <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater, it's a little warm in here, it's 123 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's take a look at our gauges. So our operating temperature of our uh, compartment is now at minus 15 Celsius. We're still operating in a deep freeze state. So I get to taste whether or not my ice cream has been able to hold itself. Now remember, our cold day system test has been done on low speed. So there are two uh, other settings where you can increase the capacity of your refrigeration, but we've chosen to test at the low speed for this experiment. Let's take a look at our gauges. Over here we can see the temperature. Uh, this is the gauge that was connected to our condenser. Right now it's 123 degrees in the spray booth that we're working in to test our system and our condensing unit is operating at 117 degrees. So we've done it. It's working very effectively. Let's also take a look at our pressure gauges. If we go down to our pressure gauges, you can now see 
that on the high side pressure, we have PSIG of about 148. And if we take a look at the low side, it's operating at about two or three PSIG. Very stable system. If we take a look at the amps, you can see that right now our system is working in 122 degrees right now. It's dropping down a bit in our temperature. It's operating, working at about one and a half, 1 1.6. Uh, and so that ampage is something that you can easily draw off of your solar panel. So can you imagine we're in the tropics and you're operating effectively a deep freeze system drawing only 1.6 amps off of your systems. We're going to take a look now. It's 122 degrees. My system has been operating for a few hours. I want to see if I've got some ice cream because that's what I want when I'm in the tropics. Let's take a look. Open up our freezer in our model system. I'm going to reach inside. I can't reach it. Can you reach inside for me? This is a 2.5 cubic foot test area that we've created. Oh, I love it. I'm going to eat my ice cream bar now. Look at that. After many hours in 100, over 120 degrees in our test, you can enjoy ice cream with the Colby system.